to the United States now, where the humongous salary of a public servant has triggered quite a debate. His name is Dr. Anthony Fauci. Needs no introduction, but I'll give one nonetheless. Dr. Fauci is the director of America's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He's also the chief medical advisor to U.S. President Joe Biden. Do you know how much he earns? More than 430,000 U.S. dollars. That's way more than the U.S. president, the chief of army staff, or any federal employee for that matter, any government employee in the U.S. His planned retirement package is equally striking. If Dr. Fauci were to retire today, he would be entitled to a pension of $350,000. What has he done to deserve this kind of money? And where has he spent some of this money? Our next report explores. Okay, we're good to go. Meet Dr. Anthony Stephen Fauci, a public servant with five decades of experience and the director of America's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, a position he has served in since 1984. In 2020, when the Wuhan virus hit America, this 81-year-old physician scientist became a household name. He served as a source of reassurance for many Americans who had no confidence in Donald Trump's pandemic response. He even managed to publicly correct Trump and not be replaced. The answer is, is no. And, and the, the evidence that you're talking about, John, is anecdotal evidence. And we'll see what happens. And uh, we all understand what the doctor said is 100 percent correct. It's early. But uh, we've, uh, you know, I've seen things that are uh, impressive. We'll see. We're going to know soon. We're going to know soon. One year on, the virus hasn't disappeared. And neither has Dr. Fauci. He serves as the chief medical advisor of U.S. President Joe Biden. Do you know how much he earns at this job? 434312 U.S. dollars. This makes him the highest paid federal employee in the United States. He earns more than the U.S. president, all four-star generals in the U.S. military, and roughly all of the 4.3 million federal employees in the United States. With so much money in hand, and of course, a virus on the prowl, Dr. Fauci clearly doesn't plan to retire soon. But if he does, he would reportedly be eligible for the largest retirement package in American history. We're not saying this. American auditors are. Auditors working for Forbes claim that he qualifies for a golden parachute of $350,000, an amount that would increase through annual cost of living adjustments. What makes Dr. Fauci entitled to such a humongous sum of money? The auditors say his 55 years of service as a federal employee. But there's another reason, his closeness to the corridors of power. Dr. Fauci has advised and earned the trust of both Republican and Democratic presidents. In 2004, when George W. Bush was in power, Fauci was awarded a permanent pay adjustment in excess of his regular salary, an adjustment that made his salary skyrocket in the years that followed. Between 2004 and 2007, he received a 68% pay increase. His salary went from 200,000 to 335,000 US dollars a year. The pay raise was preliminary meant to fund Fauci's research into biodefense activities. However, critics say he used this money to fund gain of function research through which scientists were trying to create pandemic pathogens in labs. Ironically, this includes the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which was funded with $600,000 through a third party. The money trail began from a biodefense agency Dr. Fauci oversaw at the NIH. The doctor himself made this admission in the U.S. Congress. We do not send money now to the to Wuhan uh, virology. We support incident. sending money. We did, under your tutelage, we were sending it through EcoHealth. It was a sub-agency right. and a sub-grant. This controversy did not make it to the mainstream news cycles. And it might never. 
The auditors behind this report say that they've sought all of Dr. Fauci's financial and conflict of interest disclosure forms. Under federal law, he is required to file these forms to his employer. But it's been nine months and neither the NIH nor Dr. Fauci have responded to the requests. Bureau Report, we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.